don't remember that, so you might as well tell why right now. <laughs> well, you know, he's one of those guys that it's just, again, right place, right time. Um, he's actually, he was also doing some directing. I think it was a Urban Legends film, you know, several years ago that he did and had some, some close knits with Art Pupil was another one. And what's interesting about John, too, is you, you will find commercials um, all the way. To, I think it was a, uh, a Hyundai, a Hyundai car commercial or whatever recently that he did all the editings. It's not uncommon for him to score and edit a film, but this guy, um, we had done a convention together about four years ago now down in uh, South Pasadena. They had the 25th anniversary convention of Halloween. And what they wanted was anybody involved with the films, part one through eight at that point, they really wanted them to be there for the fans. They had, which I'm sure, I'm hoping some of the, the listeners you know, tonight have, were there or possibly heard of it, but they had a bus tour of the houses, the the Myers house. I mean, you got to go and see every aspect of the film, and John was one of the guest speakers. And what was kind of interesting is that we did not get to hook up at that convention. I went down to see his panel um, he did a discussion panel. Afterwards, he was gone. By the time I tried to track him down, they had let me know that he had already left because he was fighting with a major bad back situation. Yep. And here I am thinking, okay, the reason he was there was, um, let's see, I can't remember, 19, oh, it was 98. He's the one, he did score Halloween H two O, and because that one was that twenty years later, we're going back. We haven't had a sequel that brings back Laurie and all this stuff. That one was a big deal, and he got the job. So, I really wanted to talk to this guy and pick his brain and give him my demo and have him give me, you know, the ever popular talk. Son, I think you should become a plumber. You know, this really isn't in line for you and. <laughs> So, luckily, I decided I would locate him through his um, website, and I took a chance and email him. And my whole attitude, my whole life with the entertainment business is, you know, you never, you never know unless you try. And oh, heck it, yeah. you, you're never going to be told no more than once, you hope. <laughs> Sometimes and, twice, but, you know, whatever works. So. Well, yeah, I mean, all they can tell you is no, but if they say yes then there's another story. So I had emailed John and I explained to him that you know we were both down there and that I didn't have a chance to talk to him. If he had the chance to, would he be willing to communicate with me? I didn't even care how. I just had a couple of questions I'd like to ask him. And I think that it was within a few days I received an email back and he said absolutely. And I guess that kind of shocked me a little bit. But he said, I'll tell you what, I'm not much of a email guy. Why don't I call you? Well, there was no time set up. So, And I remember very clearly one night, I'm sitting here working on a project, and the phone rings in the studio. And I answer, and he says, hey, yeah, this is John Ottman. And, I mean, I'm kind of like, I, 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 hello? <laughs> uh, hold on here. And... This is the one thing, is that I was extremely prepared. My list of questions had already been sitting on my desk because I just didn't know. And I was so grateful that he probably gave me 30 minutes of his time, um, gave me some pointers, answered all my questions, let me send him some material. And, you know, now all of a sudden, when I had talked to him, he had just finished doing Gothica and was starting to I think his next one that was coming out, Gothica was with Halle Berry, then it turned then he went to the Kim Basinger movie uh, Cellular okay. now all of a sudden he's done Superman and he's done Rise of the Silver Surfer the Fantastic Four now he's doing the sequel to Superman and you know Ottman's deal was, it was brilliant because he went to USC and I believe I believe it was for direction. 
You know, he was studying to be a director. I don't know that for certain because I know he did editing, but he met Brian Singer. Okay. And Brian Singer is a very well-known director, and you will like Tim Burton and Danny Elfman teaming, John Williams teaming with Steven Spielberg. You get a lot of camaraderies and teams that work well together, and Brian Singer teams big time with John Ottman. <laughs> and, and and the track that I want to play based on uh, John Ottman's career uh, is uh, he did the movie he scored the movie for uh, Hide and Seek. Yes, he well. did with uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah, that's right. And the theme song to that movie is what we're gonna play. Nice choice. <laughs> well, hey, you know I'm just looking down the list here, at Napster. You know, just like what you're talking about, not be, really being prepared, or you're being prepared, but you know, you you know myself, you know. I didn't have a whole lot of music, so I gotta, I gotta look. I gotta do a little search to while we're talking. So, is that professional or what? It that is. that's excellent, you know, because <laughs> it is. It's given the listeners a nice little variety. Um, John does have a website. I don't really know. I I think there's some cuts. You know, obviously, if somebody's really interested in hearing some of these works, they've got the CDs, and and you can download stuff and at least hear them because he's another one that you've probably heard a lot of and maybe don't even realize it. Yeah, and so that that's the one we're going to play for you. You uh, Now, I, I remember seeing the trailer for Hide, Hide and Seek, but I don't, I don't really remember what the movie's about. It's very, it's very interesting. It's one of those where it really is a complete twist at the end. And Robert De Niro's character, if I remember right, is really whacked out. And the guy, of course, doing that style is brilliant. And I believe there was a little girl in the film um, that was also, oh, it was Dakota Fanning. And so, once again, you have a really good cast. One of the, the films that was really off the beaten path that he did a couple years later was called Kiss, Kiss, Bang, Bang with um, Robert Downey Jr. And that one, he's done some cool stuff besides his Fantastic Four yeah. and Superman because you don't get any bigger than those gigs. Yeah, those are those are big time. Those are yeah. I tell you, it's just like, wow. <laughs> just like, you just want to say like what Ray Romano said in the, uh, not everybody loves Raymond, but what he would say in, uh, in uh, a skit from Saturday Night Live, you know, you just want to say sweet, sassy, molassy. And <laughs> yes, you do. Or, you know, you could always utter the famous words of Frank Malone, which is just always, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> 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 or, or Robert, you know, it never ends for Raven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> best, best show ever. I'm a late bloomer, see? Yeah. I didn't pick up on Ray while Ray was really on, and now it's in syndication. You can turn it on any night of the week on any channel, but I still I still forbid myself to watch it on TV until I get all final nine nine seasons. I'm down to the last the last two discs of season eight, and I own all of them, and I'm waiting desperately for the last one. Yeah, do you know now, uh, what, have you researched the uh, up-and-coming one, uh, what color it will be at and, and all? Or? No, you know, no, because I, I had gone, I thought at one point, to find, um, to, to at least see, are they going to do, you know, how many seasons were there? Sure. Being that I didn't watch it when it was on, I don't know. Okay, because there were, there were nine seasons, obviously we all know that now. It went yeah. from 96 to 2005. So I just kind of wonder how they're going to do the, you know, cat the final one. And are they going to possibly do a tribute to, to Peter?